Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to show you how to create this awesome Flipkart animation using Vue.js, Tailwind CSS and Views Transition API. Flipkarts are a fantastic way to add interactivity to your websites and present information dynamically. In this tutorial, we'll break down the code step by step. You can even grab the code for this exact example from my website citrusui.in. Link is in the description and you can follow along. This versatile card design can be used to showcase travel destinations, team members, commercial products and more. So let's see the demo what is here. So I assumed it is a fictional travel blog or travel website where uh, the members of the travel blog are suggesting that uh, Como Italy is the destination uh, for this month or uh, whatever. So and we have an image of Como. I like this place. Uh, I have been there when I was in Italy. So that's why I chose this. And we have a small animated button at the bottom saying to click on it. A way to tell audience that to click that. So once we click that, we can see there is a flip animation and there are multiple animations going on. So these are all made with Telvin CSS and uh, views transition API. And we have this back button. If we click, it goes back again with the flip animation. So that's what uh, we'll be going through today. So let's get started. First, we'll look at the basic HTML structure and some key Tailwind CSS classes that create the layout of our card. So we have this uh, page background and in that we have this image which is acting as a blurred image for the background. And in that we as we saw we have a heading, we have the destination name and then we have this container. So in the flip container, we have the front and the back. So this container is just positioned to overlap using absolute and relative positioning. So if you see for the container, we named flip container and it has a relative positioning. And for the front, we have flip card front and we have an absolute positioning. And for the back, we have a flip card back and also have an absolute positioning. So this is the overall uh, structure that we are following. So we have front and on click, we'll show the back. So uh, coming to the UI design, in the front we have just uh, one image and the button. So we have just uh, an image as a background. I'll wrap the text. So you can see uh, in the front, Flipkart front, we have only the background image. And then we have this SVG button with the animate bounds. That is what we were clicking on the front part. That's the only thing that we have on the front. Then on the back, as you saw, there were a lot of elements. Let's quickly go back. So on the back, you have this don't miss section. You have did you know section. Then there is weather information. And then uh, there is this uh, budget card and everything has some kind of uh, interaction so here we have this travel now button with a small animation and we have discover more and here we have some power effect on the background image and if in the don't miss section if we power on it they become aligned correctly so these are all the things that are happening and we have five star reviews here so what I did uh, in simple way is uh, I just have this card as the back and I just uh, positioned all the elements on the left and right using the absolute positioning. So this one for example absolute from right it's like 20 pixels something and from top like 20 pixels like that. For every element I just used absolute and then I gave the top left right bottom positions to place them accordingly. This is not something uh, that I should show it uh, like line by line in the code. But this is something that you want how the design should be. So you just need to do some trial and error methods. So when you like something the way, then you can just uh, put it. There is no like fixed rule to get this. Anyhow, I'll show what I did. 
So in the Flipkart back, we have this uh, SVG again to go back. So the button that goes when we click on it, it takes us back. Then uh, we have uh, the about Como on the top. As I said, uh, I used absolute positioning and then I used top and right and bottom and left values to position it accordingly. And for every uh, button or every element, I style these things with uh, Tailwind CSS. Only for the things that uh, we cannot do with Tailwind, I use the uh, transition API from UJS. So as you can see here, here we've wrapped every element with transition api and i've given name these are called named transitions so we write the css in the styling at the bottom and we name them here so those styles are applicable only for this named transitions i put uh, different uh, names for different elements because i don't want all the animations uh, to happen to the elements at the same time I want uh, every animation uh, on every element uh, to occur with a delay to get this kind of effect. When we uh, click on this button, you can see first we have this opacity on the middle description, then we have this button, then we have about Como, then we will get the did you know section, then these two and then this don't miss and these two comes together. So I want it in a staggered way not all at the same time so that's the logic behind it if you see it's just absolute positioning and then uh, this named transitions with a delay so uh, what is important here is uh, to actually name them properly for example here I have this did you know section so I just named it like did you know one did you know two did you know three and in the CSS you can see like I've added like for did you know one enter from and leave to did you know two enter from and leave to like this whatever I did some refactoring here instead of writing this three times we can just add these things here because they share the same animation that's something related to transition API and I did the same for all other sections. I wrote wherever I can uh, use the same animation. I just uh, used, I just refactored the code so it doesn't look too much. And wherever I don't uh, need the repetition, I created separately. For example, here for the element, the first element, and every element comes with a delay. So I just added the same animation to all. But when it comes to delay, I added delay separately. For the item 1, it's 2 seconds. Then second item, 2.25 seconds. Then third item, 2.5 seconds. Fourth item, 2.75. Like this. For every element, I just named them. I gave the same animation for that particular section. But I added different delay. The same for reviews. This is the reviews. This is do not miss section. This is did you know section. There is the info section for the description in the middle of the card then we have go back then we have about so like this i just named everything and then i gave different css styling to everything so that's how uh, it's done now coming to uh, the actual flip card animation so the card flipping so the responsible uh, css code for that is this so as I showed on the top, we have a container and then we have flip card front and flip card back. And uh, here I created a variable called is flip. So uh, normally like uh, you would have seen uh, parts where we hover on it and then it just rotates. I did that first, but I thought uh, since this has a lot of information and when user, whenever user moves the mouse a bit, I don't want it to go back. So I gave both hover and uh, click uh, features in this code. Uh, you can just uh, use whatever you want. So uh, for that we are using this flip car is flip. 
variable and we have created a function called flip card and it just uh, inverts the value of it so if it is true it becomes false if it's false it becomes true so where are we using this we are using it on the buttons we are using it on this go back button and also this button on the which is animated in the front of the card so let's uh, find it so this is a transition go back this is on the back of the card and another place is the front of the card flip card front so these are the two places we are using this flip card so whenever we click it just has a flip animation but uh, let's see the CSS part of how we did this so first uh, for the container we gave the perspective of uh, 1000 pixels this is the most important one when you are doing the flip card animation because without perspective it doesn't look like it is flipping in a 3d space so make sure you have this and you sh you should have this only on the container and uh, not the actual element itself it should be on the parent element always and we are using this back face visibility hidden because we don't want to see the uh, back side of the card when we are looking from the front so this hides the one on the back and by default we are flipping the card uh, with 180 degrees uh, y rotation because uh, when you see the card from front it looks uh, from right to left instead of left to right so first we'll flip it uh, to the back so that when it comes back when it rotates when we hover or when we click on it then it shows the correct position from left to right so that's why we by default we'll flip the card to back and then uh, it will on click it will rotate uh, 360 degrees to show us the correct way correct content from left to right so you can see that there is some commented code here this is to actually hover uh, like to flip the card on hover so if you want you can just uncomment this four lines of code and on the top also i have uncommented i have commented this mouse over and mouse leave you can uh, uncomment it and uh, use it if you want the effect to happen on hover but since we have a lot of information on the back of the card it's not a good idea to uh, put it on hover because every time we move, move the mouse it will just uh, flip again and that's not a good user experience so we have covered uh, the overall structure then uh, we i informed how i positioned those elements using absolute top left right and bottom then uh, we saw how the card flip is happening with the code here we are using the transform rotate y for this and uh, i've shown you the animation how it's happening so that's all and uh, remember uh, customization is the key so you can change these timings uh, i mean as i said uh, it's already available on my website you can just copy this entire code and like paste it and then you can customize it further you can change the images you can change the transition delay timings you can change the content colors and everything and then you can make it your own product so make sure to check out more on my website citrusui.in link is in the description and if you have any specific uh, doubts or any requests uh, please feel free to post it in the comments and i'll definitely uh, try to do it and also let me know if there is any specific part of this process you would like even more detail on then i'm very happy to explain further in another video or in comments if it is a small thing Thank you so much for sticking on to this video if you found this helpful please do not forget to like share and subscribe that helps me a lot have a good day